Good evening everyone, it's Emmanuel um, here again. And today I'm on site, I'm just outside um, our site. We've closed for today and um, um, right here we are still doing some um, arrangements in regards to block walk. You can see just behind me, we have a freshly uh, mossed blocks just behind me. We have another one in front of me. Here you can see another batch of uh, molded blocks. We have sharp sand as well. And we just um, got delivery of um, the remaining blocks. Um, there's a 200 blocks delivery. So there's the last 53 blocks which I just received now. So and today I'll be talking about um, a very interesting um, topic. You know, it's been in the mind of a lot of people. They ask, um, should I mold blocks or should I buy blocks? Um, and in today's video, I'll be giving my perspective on that. If I proceed, don't forget to like this video and um, subscribe to our channel. For more important and useful construction videos let's get right into it um, today we did mold blocks and in total we mold about 19 bags of cement and in this 19 bags of cement each bag we got um, about 25 each per bag so in total we got about 464 um, normally in a bag of um, six inches for six inches solid block you get about um, 24 to 25 blocks that's that's what you get in each bag of cement generally i believe the held notion when it comes to blocks is that you should mold your block you know i believe that the general notion of the public or people in general is that and molding your blocks is the best but in this video i will share my perspective on it and when it comes to construction material and in particularly blocks um, i wouldn't say molding your blocks is the best or buying your blocks is the best i'll give you um, an insight on both choices so you can actually have a look and think about it and probably come up with a conclusion as to if molding your blocks or buying your blocks is the best because for some people molding your blocks will be the best choice while for some people buying your blocks will be the best choice when it comes to buying or molding of blocks there are advantages and disadvantages uh, first off let me start with um, buying your blocks Buying your blocks in the market is particularly important or it's beneficial when you know your project you know is within a short time frame and you can't afford you know the time to mold the blocks. Basically in that case I would say buying your blocks you know could offer savings in time. Let me give you an example. Let's say today um, you have a um, three machines on site and you don't have any block on ground obviously when you look at it if you are molding six inches blocks example solid blocks you will need at least three days you know to mold the blocks for it to cure properly you know arrange everything in other mold it and for it to cure properly for you to use them it, it, it should be about 48 to 72 hours so in that case you see you can't afford to wait um, to mold blocks it might be best of buying blocks so what are the other advantages of buying blocks um, rather than molding um, it reduces stress because you don't have to deal with um, anybody you don't have to deal with a tradesman you don't have to supervise you don't have to you know buy materials and um, prepare logistics and um, ensure water is on site um, ensure cement is on site, 
transporting the cement, transporting everything. When you are buying blocks, you don't have to worry about this. All you just have to worry about when buying blocks, as if you are buying blocks, is just look for a reputable company, pay for the blocks, pay for the loading and offloading and transportation possibly, and then they will get the blocks to you, to your site. So this is one great advantage of buying blocks. So if you don't have time um, or your project is in a hurry, the fact that these blocks have been molded in an industry, you can just easily pick them up and bring them to your site and then work begins immediately. Some places, even if you want 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 blocks, they'll deliver it to you in no time. And then your project can, you know, kick on immediately. Because molding blocks on its own is like a project. So you need to arrange and you need time to mold blocks. So you can see the advantages of buying block is that one, you know, it's faster. And two, it saves time because time is money. You know, it's faster in the sense that you can just start laying your blocks um, the first day when you arrive site. The second thing actually, you know, the time in arranging for logistics, arranging for the molder, arranging materials, arranging water, you know, you save all those time and you save all those stress. You can put them into your project. But the major disadvantage of um, buying blocks is the quality. You know, the quality of buying blocks. You know, most um, people, if you can't get a good um, quality blocks to buy, normally the place where you buy your block if you don't get a quality place or a reputable company to buy blocks, you could be compromised. I mean, the quality of the blocks could be compromised because in most occasions, it's just all about money for them. So that's one of the mental disadvantages of um, buying blocks. Basically, when you buy blocks, some places, um, they won't give you the best quality because some people they don't care about quality they don't care about a name they don't care about reputation so they just care about the money i just make a turnover and i get my money in my pocket back with a profit so that's one of the downside of um buying blocks if you buy blocks if it's not a good company the quality might not be good and that is not great on site because your quality overall of your blocks will contribute to the quality of the structure in general you know there are some blocks probably you could touch them or even before they get to site they have um, damaged they are broken and at the end of the day you are, you are trying to save time and money but at the end of the day you are losing you are losing out because the blocks are breaking the quality are not good you know so that's one of the major disadvantages of buying blocks um, from the industries but to give you an example, like myself, one of the projects we had done, we bought about 10,000 blocks. And I can tell you that in the delivery of the blocks, the breakages we have probably is not up to five, not up to five, 10%. Because the blocks, they are known for quality. We got them, we got the industry by recommendation. So in that way, we were sure of what we were buying from them. We were sure of the quality. So, that's one thing you need to know. If you are buying blocks, make sure that the industry is qualitative. Even if you are not sure, when you go there, um, test the blocks with uh, visual inspection and also touch the blocks. When you see it, even the color of the mix, you know, if the ratio of the sand and cement, you know, is not great, you could even see it from visual inspection. And even when you transport them, even the first time you can transport them, you'll see that they don't, they don't even survive the the transportation they don't reach site in good condition even the machines when they handle them they'll give you a good feedback and tell you this block is no good so you can always check even if you are not sure of what you are buying or you weren't recommended a good company you can check and make sure and um, using the hints i've given you you can even touch the blocks with your hands like this. it doesn't fall apart it could tell you that um, the blocks are of good quality they could mix, you know, more than. Also, just to note in Nigeria, I think there's a standard um, specification for molding of blocks. Uh, I believe um, a block should be about 
3.75 newtons per millimeter square when tested. This is the gold standard in Nigeria for block um, testing and the specified strength it should be. But sadly, I don't think um, the block makers um, get their blocks tested or are regulated by the authority. So in professional um, terms, I believe this should be the standard. So now let me talk about um, molding blocks. When you are molding blocks, one thing, one of the advantages of molding blocks is that most likely you will be sure of the quality of the blocks. Why do I say so? Because this is a process you are in control. But this should come with a caveat because you need to supervise. Supervision, that's one thing as well. When you are molding blocks, that's your time you are using to supervise the block molding process. So the quality could easily be controlled because that way you can just get someone and you know the specification you want to mold to. You just tell him and he will mold it for you at that quality. So in case of getting inferior blocks, you might not get um, that when you mold your blocks. But this needs to come with supervision. That's why I say supervision is very important because you can even get a person that molds block and you know so you need to supervise and make sure you come time to time make sure that what they are taking is what they are molding um, to the quality the mix is as specified so that's the thing one of the greatest advantage of molding blocks is the quality and um, let me talk about the cost implication as well another advantage is probably you could get um, cheaper blocks you could get it cheaper when you mold blocks um, I have to mention this because relatively if you are buying blocks and the place is like miles away from your site when you add the transportation and everything it might come close to molding blocks but generally i'll say molding blocks is cheaper but you have to factor in that time is money so if you don't have the time to mold blocks and you start molding blocks that time you are you are, you are trading that um, time so you are trading that time which is also money so you're using that time to mold blocks, which is also money. So, but relatively, I'll say molding blocks is cheaper. So, um, is there any downside of um, molding blocks? I'll say the only major disadvantage is that you need to have space to mold blocks because molding blocks, you can see how these blocks are laid now. It takes, let's say you're molding thousands of blocks. You need a lot of places, uh, you need place to put these blocks. So the downside of molding blocks is that you need space. Um, another greater downside of molding blocks is the weather. Once it's bad weather, you are not you can't really mold blocks because once the rain hits the blocks and they are not set yet, they are not dry, they haven't strengthened, they will destroy your blocks, you will lose a lot of money. So the weather as well and also um, water. If you don't have water on site, it might not be a good advice you buying um, water for thousands of naira to mold your blocks so these are the downsides of molding blocks and also the time taken to mold blocks because it doesn't set it's not like you mold the blocks today tomorrow you're using them especially for solid blocks you need at least 48 to 72 hours to use them so these are the downsides of molding blocks and then also another downside i can think of is that um, logistics wise you need to arrange you know you need to supervise um, take time to supervise the block molding and yeah generally i'll say that's it and then you need to be wary of moving objects cars and you know animals you need to secure the site so that people don't damage your blocks because when the blocks are not dry anything touching the blocks or anything going on top of the blocks or anything moving by the blocks or on top of the blocks will damage the blocks so this is important for you to weigh your options your disadvantage and your advantages so you can decide on which one suits you better. I believe that um, with my little explanation, you will be able to, you know, deduct for your own specific project if buying blocks is better for you. So for me, in summary, I'll say, if you can get a quality block industry that are known and reputable for them to deliver um, blocks to you at, you know, an, at an agreed price that is relatively comparable to molding blocks i would say by all means you should buy the blocks as far as the quality is um, guaranteed 
the price is reasonable, you should buy the blocks. Alternatively, if you are doing your project in phases, and okay, I don't have enough money, I want to mow the blocks myself on site, then you can weigh the option based on what I discussed earlier. If you have water, if you have um, um, space, if the weather is good, and all other factors, you have the time to supervise and arrange the logistics, then by all means, you should mow the blocks on site. So I believe um, with these um, things, you should be able to deduct um, if buying or molding blocks is best for you. If it's a large project where you need thousands of blocks, like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, definitely molding blocks will be cheaper for you. I'm saying if it's a very large project, I recommend molding blocks because definitely those thousands of blocks, even if you get 10, 10 Naira from them or 20, 20 Naira or 50, 50 Naira, it will save you a lot of money. But if it's a small project, you just need 2,000 blocks and you don't have the time for that, then you should buy the blocks, qualitative blocks. So I believe um, this, my discussion has given you an insight as to whether you should mold blocks or buy blocks. Thank you very much for watching and um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.